called the crawfish. But where we from, they call mud bugs. Yeah. And this is down from South Louisiana. This is not no Chinese stuff or whatever. Yeah. This is just some fresh crawfish. Look, just come right out the pond. See? I see it. You see this right you here? we clean them. That's right. We're going to clean them up real nice and pretty. And this is some fresh stuff. Got to brine them. That's right. We're going to wash them down. We're going to brine them up. Yeah. And uh, then we'll get them ready for the pot. Right. They, they are like a medium size, medium. Uh, you got a couple large ones in here. Uh, but you know, with me and crawfish, this is the perfect size. Okay. If you get them too big, All right. they too tough. Gotcha. And if you get them too small, they just too hard to peel. They are so, moving around. Look at this so one guy. Good, He's trying yeah, to get out of there. He's trying to get out. Uh -huh. So you get you a good medium sized crawfish, yeah. and it is perfect. Okay. okay. And, they're, and they're not hard to peel. Okay. The real big ones, they get hard to peel, and they kind of hurt your fingers when you peel them because the shell is so tough. All right. But this right here is going to be eating like candy. Hey, welcome to Cajun Cousins. Today I got you this very special treat. All right. And uh, this is something that you can do inside your home. But we've been having a lot of requests for ball crawfish yeah. inside. And That's true. And this is true. where, if, if you have that $1,000 crawfish ball and pot and all that stuff, this, is, this video is not for you. This is for the guy that wants to cook in house all like ball and crawfish. Okay? All right. You don't need those big uh, thousand dollar crawfish balls that can launch the space shuttle. This is yeah. something for somebody that wants to cook just enough for him and his wife, for him and his family inside on a budget. Yeah. And uh, this is a perfect way to go. And today you get it for free. And have you know, fun doing it. And yeah, and have fun doing it. You don't have to be a Cajun to learn how to do this because I'm teaching you right now. All right. All right. And as you can see, we got our live crawfish right here. Boy, right, they moving. Right here, you got uh, a little less than 10 pounds. I want to say like nine and a half pounds of crawfish. And buddy, they are active. And and, and in that lovely. And, and I just got a regular ball and pot about okay. this size right here. All right. Let's see. It's a 20 quart pot, which is okay. plenty, plenty big enough. All right. I got a little Louisiana uh, liquid. Uh, okay. Crawfish balls. All right. I always gotta have my little Louisiana hot sauce. Gotta have that. that one just about everything. Yeah. And I got a little Martin salt. Yeah. I got enough uh, ears of corn to to feed the family. Sure. I always like to put a little sausage because I like to nip the little sausage. Nice. And a little celery stick. Okay. Uh, one large onion. I'm gonna cut it in half, like as you see. All right. I have three small lemons. Okay. Which is very plenty for the size we got. And I got a little, uh, probably about a pound of potatoes right here. Well, red potatoes, uh, huh? A little red potatoes, a little balling potatoes. Okay. Okay. And uh, basically, this is what we're going to have in our uh, crawfish bowl. But we're going to have steps to this bowl. First thing I want to do is I want to rinse my crawfish off. Okay. Okay, with, with clean water. And then I'm going to purge it. All and, right. And what purging is, is... Uh, is what I do is, is I put them in a bucket, and I put some salt in the bucket, some okay. salt water, and it kicks all that mud out of the crawfish. All right. Okay. And, and that's some people call them brining them. Brining. Yeah. Brining and purging is the same, same thing. thing. Well, I'm from, they call it purging. Purging. And, you know, if you look it up on YouTube or whatever, they will call it brining. You're I got correct, you. David. All right. Thank you for correcting me on that. No, no I just, just yeah. make sure we clarify what all of, that everybody watches our video. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. You know. But like I said, we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna clean the crawfish first. All right. It's gonna be a little step. I'm gonna take them and put them in the sink. I'm gonna rinse them off with water, wash the outside mud off, and then we're gonna uh, brine them. Yeah, all right. And uh, we'll get that done next. That but this is good. the basic stuff what you need for yeah. a good uh, crawfish bowl in the house where you don't have a whole lot of mess and a whole lot of expense. Exactly. You can keep it in your budget. So we call this crawfish on a budget. Crawfish on a budget. In the house. In house. And it's not going to put create a big monster mess. That's right. Very I little love mess. It. I love hey, it. Hey, look, look, look. He's trying to get away. Boy, isn't that something? He don't want to go Man, in that pot. He don't want to go in that pot. He knows what's going to happen. <laughs> hey, and also, I'm going to show you a special treat. Woo. I'm going to show you my homemade dip. What? That's, that's going to be a little... All right. But I don't have it out here right I'm now. I'm looking forward to that. But yeah, we're going to show you the homemade deal. All right, buddy. All right. Okay, what I'm doing right now is I'm rinsing off the crawfish. I want to get all the uh, the, the mud and, and the dirt on the outside of them. Okay. And uh, get, get them all lively. Oh, I tell you what, there's some, some beautiful crawfish. They and we got them here locally at, at the local grocery store. Yeah. And uh, one thing I like about it, 
is you don't see no none dead. No. You know, you go to some places and and you see the the crawfish and they're all dead when you get them home. Yeah, these are jumping and around. These are jumping around. These are ready to go, man. Yeah. This jumping, is, very active. Yeah. And that's what you want. Yep. You, and one thing is you don't want to do is boil a dead crawfish. If Negative. He, if he's not moving, no. you don't Those want him garbage. in the pot. No. You, you toss him right away. That'll mess or up. Or you can put them. him in the freezer and use them for uh for fish bait. That's like one bad apple, man. Even that's fish right. want to buy that. And that's right. Okay, now as you see, I got them pretty much cleaned off. Yeah. You want to kind of move them around a little bit. Right. You know, be careful because uh, they, they they'll they'll snip you. Yeah. You know. But see, I got tough hands. I'm old cool now. Well, for a regular person, they will snip you a little bit, but it's not as bad as a blue claw crab. That's right. But, but they will pinch you, uh, so you just kind of got to be careful when you're moving around like this in this colander. Uh, you know, just food for thought, man, you know. Maybe wearing some gloves would, would help, you know. A little rubber glove, something like that, wouldn't be a big deal. Okay, now that i got them rinsed off, what I'm going to do now... Mm -hmm. Is I'm gonna take my stopper right here, okay, and I'm gonna put my stopper in the sink, okay. Now I'll call the brining purpose. All right, let's okay. do it. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna fill up, fill this up with, with with cold water. All right, okay. We'll come back to you in a minute then. And I want to put a little salt. Oh, okay. All right, we're gonna do it now. Okay, we, we're gonna yeah. go ahead and put the salt in right now. All right, let's do it. So you, you want to add some salt to this, okay? Because what this is gonna do, I'll clean them, is, is make that crawfish kick. Yeah. Okay. Right. And as it kicks, it's going to be kicking out the mud. Right. And and even though I washed the outside real well, mm -hmm. you want the inside the crawfish got clean you clean. Too. Yep. All right. And, so and so we're brining them now with the salt, and we're going to do it in this this uh, stainless steel sink. And just like the uh, last de decontamination video we did, we'll do the same thing uh, on this after we do. After we do this cooking with the crawfish today. Okay, now I'm, I'm dissolving my salt. I'm, I see I'm, that. Okay, see how I'm kind of moving it around? Yes. And you don't feel none of that grit? Right. So that means that the salt water is going to be in there. Okay. And we're going to go ahead and pour the uh, the crawfish. Now one thing that in the browning stage or purging stage, if a crawfish floats to the top, mm -hmm. dead. Discard it. Yes. Okay, now we got our water about halfway to sink and we got our salt in there. We're going to go ahead and dump our crawfish. There we go. Okay. Here we go. Get them all brined up. Man, look at them. Now, Good. one thing I want to tell you, I have this real, real nice uh, colander right here. If you don't want to go out and buy you a big colander like this, you can use a five-gallon bucket and just drill a bunch of holes in it. Right. And, and that'll be plenty good enough. You know, you get your old bucket on the side, <laughs> and uh, you can make your own. Boy, look at him. They don't want to go. Look, look at him. He's hanging that. on right there. Look at him. Okay. <laughs> they did not want to get in there, buddy. Let me explain right something here? to you. Uh, okay. That those one. guys did not want to get in there at all. Yeah, they, they know what's coming. I think they know their fate. They, you, know what, you know what they know? They're about to be in my belly. They, they saying that guy with the black hat, he's going to get me. Okay, now, now you can see. Floating. All, all these crawfish are pretty much alive. Most of them are. Yeah. Well, actually, 99% 90, of them are. Yeah. I haven't seen a dead one yet. Yep. But you can see the water, yeah. how it's turning color yeah, of that is. black. That's that crawfish kicking. You see them yes. kicking out like oh, that? Yeah. They, they want to kick that mud out of yes, them. Yes, that's right. And that's what you want. And that salt water is cleansing them. That's right. Purging them. Yep. You can really see the process here. Instead of doing it in, the, in like in the backyard. And this, this is, is just plenty enough. You know, we, we have almost 10 pounds of crawfish here. Yeah. And this is plenty enough for plenty. a family of four or five people. Yeah. You know, because we have the side, you got the, the sausage. Well, if corn, you got kids. You know. <coughs> I know some people can eat this by themselves. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You know, I tell you what, you know, back in the day, I, I used to be able to sit there and I'd eat crawfish all day long. And oh, yeah. As long it's as the beer was cold, That's true. I was eating crawfish. <laughs> You're right. But you know, when the beer ran out, I was done. Yeah, I hear you. How long we brine them for, Brett? I'm going to do it for about 10 minutes. Okay. You know, after 10 minutes, the that salt water is really going to... Get these crawfish on the lazy side. They ain't want to do a whole lot. 
Okay. But you, you see how they how they kicking it? Oh yeah, now, I see it, man. Now once down in here. once I finish browning them, I'm gonna put them back in my in my colander. If you have that bucket, like I'm saying, you get your bucket and drill some holes in it where you can wash the the water out of it. Because mm -hmm. I'm gonna rinse them off again. I like my crawfish clean before I put them in the boiling pot. Absolutely. I just want everybody to see, just you know, look at these little guys and what they're doing. And how they just chilling now. It's like they're in a warm like spa with a nice salt treatment. And they're about to go somewhere else that it's going to get a lot warmer and they're not going to really like it too much. But As you can see, I got my 20 quart uh, boiling pot, uh, which is pretty much fairly inexpensive, you know. Right. Uh, for a size pot like this, you just get your regular boiling pot, 20 quart. Okay. It's plenty, plenty big enough for the 10 pounds that we have. And you want to fill it up a little bit more than halfway. All right. And then we're going to get that on the stove, and we're going to add our salt and our uh, seasonings to the pot, and uh, we'll get it boiling. Okay. All right. Sounds good. Okay, now we got the pot on the stove. What we're okay. going to do, we're going to put this pot on the highest setting that we got. Because okay. we really want to get this stuff boiling pretty quick. And once I add my, my seasoning to it, I'm going to go ahead and put the cover on it because with the cover, it's going to make the water boil a little faster. Okay, buddy. All right, what I got here, I got a little Martin salt. Uh-huh. And uh, what we're going to do, we're going to probably just put, it's really hard to gauge, but you want to put a, a box like this, probably about a quarter of a box. Okay. You see, see what I'm doing right here? Yeah. That should be plenty enough. Gotcha. Yeah, like that. Okay. Okay, as you can see, we've got our Louisiana hot sauce right here. We're gonna just, oh, yeah. We're going to put a couple little jabs in here like this. Uh-huh. Give, yeah. give it a little pop taste. Yeah. Not, you know. Just, Not too much. Yeah, just a little couple jabs. We don't want it super hot either. Yeah, because you, you want this for the family. Yeah. You don't want to have to drink a whole gallon of ice tea just to eat the crawfish. Correct. Okay? Yeah. Now, when you buy a liquid crab ball, uh -huh. it says, uh, let's see what it says. I want to say it says put a tablespoon for five pounds of seafood. Mm -hmm. So we got 10 pounds of seafood. So yeah. what I'm gonna do with this. Right. And uh, I usually just judge it. Yeah. But what we're gonna do, we're gonna do capfuls. Okay. Okay, so you take this, and we're gonna go one, two, and I'm gonna put three, and that should be plenty okay. enough for a mile Crawfish. Gotcha. Okay? Okay. This is what I'm going to like. Okay, now what I want to do next is I'm going to take my sausage and I'm going to cut them like, like in, a, in a little bite size. About a little bigger than bite size pieces. I like them about that side right okay. there. Okay. Give it a little flavor. Yep. Yeah. yeah. I love a little sausage with my crawfish. Yeah, you're right about you that. Because it tastes so good with all that flavor. And as you see, I got my corn right here. Ready to go. Ready to go. We're going to put all this in at the same time. Okay. And what I'm going to do is I'm going I'm to cook my vegetables and my uh, my sausage before I put the crawfish in. Okay. Okay. And you can see this right here. We're going to just kind of cut that. Sure. That way everybody get, gets a little piece. You know what I mean? Okay. Got it. And we'll put that right here. And okay. the onion I'm going to leave as such. Okay. Okay. Got it. And uh, the lemons. I'm going to cut this right over the pot. Okay. I don't want to cut them right now. I want to use my pear knife. I'm going to cut this. I'm going to show you that. Okay. That way all the juice goes into the pot. Gotcha. Okay. okay. Perfect. And the potatoes, we'll just throw them in like such. Right now, as you can see, I'm going to take the lid off. All right. We got our nice little rolling ball. We're going to go ahead and add the vegetables. Boy, you smell that aroma coming yeah, out of that pot? It. This is very, yeah. very nice. What the... And we're going to go ahead and do our vegetables because... On a small scale like this, you want to put everything in the pot at the same time. All right, so we're going to do so the vegetables. So we're going to do the vegetables, and then we're going to let it boil probably for about 8 to 10 minutes tops. Okay. And we're going to pull them out. Then we're going to go ahead and kind of re-season the water because okay. the vegetable is going to take a lot of it out. All right. And uh, then we add the crawfish in. Sounds but good. But let me get the vegetables in. Okay, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to go ahead and take my celery. Okay. I'm just going to drop that in here. All right. Take my sausages. Okay. Boy, that sauce can be some good stuff. I see and, that. And you want them, just kind of just put them in there. Okay. Like such. Yeah. This is going to be some real nice stuff. Okay. Now be careful. Don't, don't let that water splash on you because it is boiling hot. Right. We add the corn. Putting the corn in there. Yeah. And what, nice. I'm, what I like about this boil, it's not going to be a very uh, spicy boil. Uh -huh. It's going to be a mild boil where, okay. you know, the, the kids and all can eat it. And I like the onions. 
like this because they're gonna kind of break apart okay. when they uh they, they they ball up, you know. Gotcha. And then right. we're gonna drop our potatoes. You see how this is filling up in that pot? I see that. Now I love potatoes. Right. That that's real nice in the in the crawfish ball. Absolutely. Okay. And then I'm gonna show you a trick. Okay. All right. Next, I'm gonna take my lemons. Right, and my see. paring knife right here, uh -huh. and I'm just going to cut it in half like such. Okay. Okay. One, That's two. Good. Yeah. How about that small pop button? Boy, I tell you what, you know, I'm glad you brought that up, because that's one thing I always want to improvise. When you're cooking food, especially Cajun food, if you don't have swap, swamp pop music on, the food just don't taste right. That's now, true. ain't that pretty? Beautiful. Now, what we're going to do is go ahead and cover it back up and get it back to the rolling ball. Sounds good. And you see what I'm talking about, how that, that onion's already starting to separate yeah, right here? Yeah, it's starting to break apart. You yeah. see that right there? All okay. Right. All right, buddy. Sounds good. All right. Okay, welcome back. As you can see, I have the rolling ball on my vegetables, and it's 311. Uh -huh. So we're going to go ahead and turn this off at 321. Ten minutes. Okay. I want to cook my vegetables, and that's going to be plenty good. Man, All right. Look good, huh? Oh, that looks perfect right there. Oh, they are just Boy, isn't that nice? And look at that sausage already. Yeah. Boy, that's some good stuff, that corn. And you see how the onions are coming apart? Yeah. Because that's what you want. You just want a piece of onion. You don't want to bite no big old huge onion. And you see the, the lemons, how they how they acting? Sure. That's going to be some good stuff. And all this is adding flavor, flavor. to the crawfish. Right. Okay? When they go in there. Okay, that's buddy. That's right. So, 10 minutes, we'll be back. All right. Hey, welcome back. Now, it's been uh, right at 10 minutes there. I'm going to have, have our vegetables. Ooh. Boy, look how pretty that looks right there. Wow, this look at this, This is going to be some bon stuff. And what I want to do right now, I'm just going to turn off the fire. Uh -huh. That way I don't have all that blowing up on top of me while I'm trying to take this out. Sure. And, uh, wow, look. Look at that, guys. Isn't that, isn't that pretty? It's beautiful. You know? Yep. And we're going to go ahead and I got my little colander right here. Okay. A little bowl to catch the, uh, the drippings. All right. You're gonna move this off to the side. Yeah. So we're gonna get all these delicious vegetables out of here that gave this water all this amazing flavor. We're gonna put these vegetables in this. You see how the onions broke up right oh, here? Yeah, just like you said. Yeah. Boy, David, look at that sausage, look at that sausage man, right there. Busting out the skin, man. Man, that beautiful. That's nice. Look how nice. Look at that corn, buddy. Oh, that corn That be corn's nice. ready to go, man. That's right. You know? All the different flavors, the onions, the lemons, the sausage, the even celery. the corn, the celery. You know? Look at the steam coming out of there, buddy. That's why I want to turn the fire off. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Bagging up on you. And this is cooking in your kitchen. Yep, right yep. here, right on the stove. In your kitchen, and that way you don't have to have the huge expense of getting all those uh, all outdoor equipment. cooking equipment. And yep. this is just perfect right here. You got to get the burner and the the the, the, the butane. The butane. Hey, you know, just a full bottle of butane. That, that that's that right there is fifty dollars. Yep. You know, you go to one of those uh, exchange things. You're looking yep. at anywhere from forty-five to fifty dollars. Yep. If you don't have a, an exchange uh, bottle. That's true. And if you have the exchange bottle, you're still looking at $25. Look at the water, guys. That's Got a that nice season potato there. there. Let's see. I saw something else floating. Got your little, oh, there it is. little stowaway. Yeah, right there. there. <laughs> a little lemon. Okay. All, All right. right. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going uh, I'm to let this right here cool for a few minutes. We're going to let that rest. We're going to let it rest. All and right. then we're going to take a little nip on that. Show sure about that. Okay. Oh, after like, oh, I gotta nip. If you don't nip, you you don't know what's going We're on. We're gonna let this rest. Okay. All right. But right now, I'm gonna let, it, let it rest a little. Okay. Now that I took my vegetables out, and uh -huh. as I told you, the vegetables did grab a little of the seasoning out of the water. Okay. So I just want to put a little more salt. Right. Okay. And uh, probably put another cap of uh, my uh, ball. My, my crawfish ball here. Uh huh. Like I said, we we're gonna do capfuls. All right. All right. Yeah. So one extra cap. One extra cap. I'm going to throw a little Louisiana hot sauce. Uh-huh. You know, put a couple yeah. little splashes in there. And give it a little extra flavor. Yeah. 
And mm. we're going to go ahead and get this back to boiling. And go. as you can see, I'm using the same water. Same water. But, but that's why I like cooking my vegetables first. Gotcha. All right? And uh, because when you cook your vegetables in your crawfish on uh -huh. something like this, the vegetables really get all tore up gotcha. with the crawfish being in there. Okay. All right? So that's why I like doing it first also. Gotcha. All right. Put that fire back on. Get it back to boiling. Get it back to boiling. All right, buddy. Thanks. Okay, now as you can see, we got our water back boiling. Okay. So my next step is to get the crawfish out of the brining water gotcha. or the purging water. Okay. And we're gonna go ahead and do that next, and we're gonna dump it in here. Sounds good. All, All right. right. All right, buddy. Okay, here we go. As you can see, we got our crawfish, and and you can see the color of the water. Mm-hmm. So all that crawfish done kicked all that mud and everything out of themselves. And we're going to go ahead and put them in there. Okay. And then I'm going to rinse them off all with right. some fresh water. Okay. And then we're going to put them in the pot ready to go. And we're going to have some real sausage bone crawfish boil in the kitchen. Look at this, guys. Isn't this pretty? Look at these, these guys, man. They're moving around. They've been taking a salt bath here for about 15 minutes. And they... I think just have a feeling something's about to go down. Yep. Like them. And uh, <laughs> but the good news is they're going to be so delicious to eat when they cook. So we're going to put all them in here and uh, and rinse them off and, and then dump them, them in the pot. All right, buddy. We'll come back to you in a minute. Okay. Now you see how dirty the water is. Yeah. This is the whole purpose. Uh, brownie, the the crawfish. Yep. And uh, cause you all this dirt and all this came out of from the inside of, the, of that crawfish, you know. Right. And this is something that you don't want to put in your boiling pot. No. Because uh, you're gonna be cooking that in that. Right. And uh, you want fresh, clean water, fresh, clean crawfish. Correct. All right? Now I know you won't get it a hundred percent because there's no way you're gonna do it. But right now my next step is. Is uh, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna rinse off my crawfish, okay. get that that water off the outside. But as you can see, with that salt water, it knocked this crawfish pretty much out. Right. But they they still alive. They just kind of like in shock because it's a freshwater uh, bug, and we threw that salt water on it. And when that salt water hit it, they want to jump that tail like that, and it pushes all that mud out of them. All right. All right. So we'll let me rinse it off minute. right Hold now. On one sec. Okay, now as you can see, when I'm going to hit them with this uh, water right here, I'm going to spray it. They're going to start jumping around again. You see right here? I see them. It's kind of waking them up. Oh, yeah. All right? And uh, we're going to rinse all that water off of them because I want them nice and clean when I put them in that boiling pot. Yeah, and a little active. That's right. See right here? Look. Yeah. They say, oh, thank you. Get that salt water off of me. I see that. Boy, you hear that swamp pot playing? Oh, it's going on. Boy, I tell you what, without that swamp pop, you won't be eating good crawfish. True there. You know? Yep. Look at this. Look at them crawfish moving. Oh, my God. Now, you see that? That's what I'm saying. That when you brine them like that, it kind of knock them out a little bit. Yeah, put them in a coma. Yeah. And and now you can see the water flowing right. from the bottom of the column. I don't know sure. if you can see it right here. I but it's, it. But it's nice and clear. Very clear. And, and that's what you want. Yep. All right. All right, well, we done here. The next step is to put them in the pot. There you go. All right. Okay, come on, crawfish. It's time for you to go take your hot bath. Here we go. Isn't yeah, this beautiful? Yeah, it is. And I tell you what, you know the best thing about this? Tell me. Is I don't have to go outside and, and pull out that big crawfish ball in the pot. There you go. You know? And this is a nice mess of crawfish This is a right nice here. mess of crawfish for yep. your family. Look at that water, And I guys. tell you... This is beautiful. Water season, oh. ready to go. Okay. It's okay. All right. Add to the. All right, we'll go ahead and uh, go ahead and just add this into the pot. Just, just a spoonful at a time. That way we're not making a, a huge mess. And once we get them all in there, and we get the uh, the water back to rolling ball. Uh huh. We're gonna boil them for five minutes. Okay. 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 Boy, look how nice this is. Oh, they just flowing. Boy, they there. got a couple of them trying to get away over I here. See that? They they don't want to. They don't want to get to their fate. I'm gonna put that in my belly. What you talking about? Exactly. Ooh, look at that, man. See how easy this is. 
It's not complicated. It, the process is very simple. Just follow the instructions. And we're about to have some amazing ball crawfish here. That's right. All the way. Cajun cousin style. All the way, man. Look at this, guys. And, and look how pretty and clean that crawfish is. Yeah, beautiful. Look, you see right here? Yeah. How nice and clean that is? Yep. And that's what you want in your pot. You don't want no muddy old crawfish going no, in there. You don't want that dirty water in there and nothing. That's right. There you go. All right. Now we got a couple of them that came out from behind the, the stove. Let me get right here. Look. I'm gonna grab the little the yeah. stragglers. You see them right there? <laughs> Stowaways. <laughs> All right. Now what we're gonna do? Stir it. Well, I'm gonna give it a good stir right here. Uh huh. And uh, we're gonna get this to boiling. Okay. And once it's boiling, we're gonna uh, time it for five minutes. Okay. And then we're gonna let it soak for 20 minutes. Okay. Gotcha. Okay. All right. I'll see y'all back in a minute. Sounds good, Brett. Okay, now as you can see, I came to a rolling boil. Okay. All right, so we want to time it five minutes from right now. Okay. All right, so that's going to put us at... Um, 351. 351 over there. Uh-huh. And then we're going to go ahead and turn it off and let it soak. Man, you can already see the red and how nice they look already. Isn't that beautiful? Yeah. And, and what I want to show you is that I'm going to take this spoon... Uh-huh. And, and see how clear, clear the water very is? clear. That is what you want. You don't want nothing that, that's dirty water. No. And that's the whole process of the brawny or purging, however you want to do Correct. it. Correct. But that's going to be some look, real look pretty at, clean guys, crawfish. Look at this crawfish. It's clean. Pull that out, Brett, again, please. Isn't I that nice? Go, go, go back down for another scoop like you did. I like to see, yeah, everybody see the action. Look at the crawfish, guys. That is nice. You see just what we're looking at here. I mean, how easy this is to make in your own kitchen. In your own kitchen, that's you, right. You don't need a lot of expensive equipment. The ingredients here was less than $20 to make this. You can have an amazing crawfish ball on a great budget. And that's what we want to show everybody. All right? What do you think, buddy? I think it's great, man. I'm ready to eat, man. Yeah. I don't know. Okay, as you can see, it's uh, been five minutes. I'm going to go ahead and turn this off, and we're going to time it for 20 minutes just okay. soaking. Okay? Gotcha. So I'm going to uh, give it one real good stir, and I'm going to put the cover back on it and let it sit for 20 minutes. I'm going to let it take a nap. Let it take a, get some rest. That's right. Get some let rest. these old guys get some rest. That's look right. At they, they had a hard day, man. They've had a rough day, but now they're about to be in my belly. Isn't that something? Oh, that's beautiful. Look how clean that water is. Buddy. And that's what I want to show you. You see how pretty and clean that water? Very that's clean. what you want. You don't want nothing all nasty. And if your water, if your water's brown and and, and 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 dirty, you didn't clean them good enough. Right. Look that, and that's you can beautiful. see the flavor in that water. See oh, yeah, that orange? You can see it. Yeah, the orange. That is beautiful, man. And look that how nice beautiful. and orange the crawfish are. Oh yeah. Look at that, guys. This is perfect. Look at that, huh, buddy? Well, oh, this is beautiful, David. I tell you, and and this is just this is just a wonderful idea, you know. People that uh, say you live in an apartment, or just you and your wife, or or you got a couple of kids, and you don't want to go out and eat that uh that expensive crawfish meal, or go out and buy that big crawfish pot. You got it all right here, everything you need. Yep, this right. is perfect right here, man. Yep, I agree, buddy. All right. Okay, now we're back. The crawfish has been soaking for uh, 20 minutes now. And I want y'all to come see just how pretty this is. Yeah, right. As you can see, look. You see how, how clean that water is? Oh, yeah, still. That, that is something very, very important. Yes. And look at this. This is ready to go. All of them with kink tails, too. No this straights. Ready to go. That means that they were alive when they went That's in the right. water. That's right. None of them were dead. And, and what you said, David, that, that is 100% uh, uh, is correct. If you have a crawfish that the tail is straight, yep. that means it was dead when it went in the water. Correct. Okay? And that's something that you don't want to mess with because it's going to have an odd flavor. Yep. All right? But we're ready to dump this out into our colander. Okay. Now, like I said, if you don't have a big colander like this, you can get a five-gallon bucket and drill a bunch of holes in it, you know, all the way around. Okay. And that work just as good. All right. Okay? Because you want it cost efficient, you know? Gotcha. Now, when you're going to dump your water... Tell us what you do. You want to dump away from it. Pour it away, right? Pour it away. Now, you see how I'm going to do this right here? Right. Okay. Be very careful. 
I see that. It's hot. Man, the smell, guys. Let me tell you something. You talk about just all the flavors and everything is... Look at this. Look at them crawfish, Oh, man. man. And this is done in your kitchen. Ooh, right here and, in the kitchen. And it's not a big mess. And no. It, and it's plenty enough for your family to have a little treat. Look at this, y'all. Isn't that perfect right Look there, at David? This. Look at it. That looks great, man. Unbelievable. Looks great. Absolutely amazing. I can't wait to eat, man. Man, me too. <laughs> oh, my goodness. All right. Here we go. All right, here we go. Now it's time for the uh, dumping of the crawfish. Ooh. After it does rain for about five minutes. Buddy, look, guys. Look at this. Look at this. The payoff right here. Look at what we got here, guys. Look at this. Whoa. Man, I tell you what, this is some good stuff, Dave. Look at that. That ain't amazing. This is some very good Ooh. stuff. I guarantee you. Look at this, guys. Unreal. Damn. Absolutely unreal, guys. All right. Now, as you can see, I have my crawfish in my in my pan. Okay. And we have all our potatoes and our, our uh, lemons and the celery, the onions, the sausage, the corn. And let me tell y'all something, fellas. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this is some very, very good crawfish right here. Oh, yeah. I, I had a taste of one just now, and it is actually phenomenal. Yeah. And, uh, and, it, and it's a very simple process, as y'all saw. Right. Okay. Um, and it's very inexpensive to do right. in your kitchen. There you go. But this is some very good stuff. We're going to fix them to uh, go ahead and set it up in a little plate. And, uh, we're going to try them. We're going to try them out. All right. And uh, I want to make a little dipping sauce. Very okay. simple dipping sauce. I'm going to show you that there in a second. All right. Okay. Now, here we go. We're going to make us a little uh, dipping sauce for our crawfish. What I have is uh, mayonnaise. Ketchup, a little whiskey sherry, a little hot sauce, and a little Cajun Cousins all-purpose seasoning. All right. And the way we're going to do this, we're going to do half and half of the mayonnaise and ketchup. Okay. So the equal parts All right. of this and a splash and a splash and a couple pinches. All right. Let's see how you do it. Okay. So what we're going to do right here. Uh-huh. Okay. Okay. All Add right. Mayonnaise. That'll be the mayo. Okay. About the same amount of ketchup. All right, half and half of equal parts. That looks pretty close. That looks close to me. Give a couple shots. A little shot of the Louisiana hot sauce. Okay. And some good old Worcestershire sauce. A little Worcestershire. Can't go wrong with that. You know, my wife's dad used to call this rooster sauce. Yeah. And I like that name for it. There you go. And we're going to take a little pinch of our all-purpose seasoning. Okay, a little Cajun Cousins. Right there. Uh-huh. Knock it down. We're going to dip our crawfish in that when we finish with peeling. And that is going to be some sauce bon. See this right here? See how nice and pretty that looks? Beautiful. All right. Okay, Dave, take it. Take a taste of that real quick. I'm gonna go, go ahead and plate this for an individual setting here. You wanna take Ooh. your crawfish. As you can see, you got your dip in the middle. Oh yeah. Look oh, at look, that. Look, look. See this celery right there? Oh yeah. That's gonna have a lot of flavor right there. Look at the presentation, guys. And you put this in here, you get your little. And the thing is, is you wanna have room for your uh, your crawfish and your peelings. Right, and it's all right. in the same plate. Correct. So, so you want to load it all up on one side. Okay. Like I'm doing right now. All right. Oh, look, I got to get me a piece of onion. Some, some onion. A little onion in there. Oh, that's some good onion right there. Yeah. And get your potato. There you go. All right. A couple potatoes. And this is what you have right here. This is plenty enough for one serving. Yes. And as you can see, you got plenty left in the pan. You are ready. And, uh... You, you know, you're talking four or five people can eat off of this. Oh, yeah. And this is a very simple process, man. Cheers. All right, guys. Here we are, Cajun Cousins, with our crawfish video. As you can see, this is the time of, of, of tasting. See how easy they pop open? Okay. Look at this, guys. When I tell you they just shell out, look at this. Got my dip. Man, this, is, this is perfect. Oh my God. Woo. 
Wow. What do you think, buddy? I tell you what, this is this is very, very good, David. I got I gotta I gotta give you another one here. I don't normally drink beer, but I will tell you with this kind of crawfish, one cold beer is not a bad thing. Am I right? I agree with that 100%. <laughs> if you don't drink beer, you don't have to. I get it. But but, but it's up to you. you what I like it. about man, wow, boy, I had that crawfish back. This is finger licking good stuff. And look at the potatoes, guys. And what, that. I, what I want to really say about this dish right here is the flavor is mild, it's eatable. It has, you, you can taste the flavor of the crawfish, you can taste the flavor of the seasoning, and nothing overpowers anything else. And it's not where you got to drink a gallon of iced tea to eat it. Uh, this is perfectly cooked. It's, uh, it comes right out of the shell, Yay. right here. You just take it, pinch the tail, and look at this. That is perfect, how to, how to do that. So what y'all saw here today is the proper way to do it in the kitchen, on the stove, and it's very, very cost effective. Where you can have, you feed your family a nice meal of some fresh crawfish, and you know the proper way to do it. But I want to say one thing, wash your crawfish thoroughly. Yes. Okay, brown them, purge them, or whatever flavor, uh, or whatever way you want to do it, but this is great. This is some real good stuff. I'm going to tell you, for for less than $25 total, that meant crawfish, all the seasoning, corn is not expensive. Red potatoes are not expensive. This whole pack of sausage was not expensive. We have an unbelievable meal and the whole pan still full. So this is a real treat. Taste unbelievable. Brett, once again, ça c'est bon. A la santé. A la santé. Thank you very much for watching, Cajun Cousins. And we are Cajun, Cajun Cousins. Cousins Cooking. All right, we got a couple of tasters here. First, we have Haley. She's peeling her own crawfish. Let's see how she likes these crawfish. What do you think, hon? It's really good. It's actually not as spicy. Not spicy at all, actually. Okay. Because I've tried other crawfish. Yeah. And it burns my mouth. So you enjoy this one, not real, real spicy. It's really soothing. Just perfect. Mm -hmm. Sound like Goldilocks. Okay, next we got Crystal. Where's Crystal? Here, I kinda don't What you got there, sweetie? You got a crawfish? I kinda don't know how to put this. You sure about that? Can you open it? Here no? It Haley, help her. All right, here you go. Haley, Haley peeled you one. Go ahead. See that, your sister's helping. Dip it. All right, let's see what Crystal thinks. Mmm, well, what's it? Did you like it? Yes. I, I think we got a winner that. here, guys. It's really good. Girls love the crawfish, too. Mm. Do we have two thumbs up? Mm -hmm. Two thumbs up. All right, y'all. Thank you. Well, I tell you what, it looks like our uh, Cajun Cousins indoor crawfish bowl was a big hit. Absolutely. And the, and the thing is that I want to stress to, to everybody out there, uh, we didn't have to go out to a restaurant and spend a hundred dollars yep. on crawfish. We didn't have to have the huge equipment that you put outside, yep. the thousand dollar crab ball and stuff of that sort. We did a very simple way in the kitchen. Less and than 25 bucks. Less than 25 dollars, we have a meal that can feed five people. Yep. All right, this is a very wonderful dish and the crawfish was cooked just right. Perfect. Uh, it was not overpowering yep. in the heat and it was very enjoyable. Yes. As you can see in the video, the girls loved it. Yeah. And so it, did we. It, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I tell you, it was just full of good flavor. Amazing and, flavor. And that's what you really want in your crawfish. You don't want to have to be so uh with with your mouth burning up. Correct. On the heat of yes. the spicing. Yes. Good Cajun food is about flavor. Yes. It's not about over spice. Yes. Okay. But I want to thank y'all very much for watching this uh, crawfish ball that we had in our kitchen. Right. And it's a very simple process. And if you have any comments, if you have anything that you want to add to it, 
or if you have any questions of anything, I really appreciate y'all putting it in the comments of this video. Right. And we can answer it as quickly as possible. Absolutely. But I really want to also thank y'all for watching the video and uh, sharing it and uh, and subscribing to yes. our YouTube channel. Yes. We really need all the subscribers we can get because the more we subscribers we get, the more videos we can put out right. and the more that we can teach everyone coming into your home on how to cook authentic Cajun food. Yep. And my name is Brett Abear. This is David, David Cole. Cole. We are Cajun, Cajun Cousins. Cousins. And thank you so very much.